Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have another Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I found some amazing items so I'm excited to show you on what I bought. So let's dive in and let's start off with this note holder flower suction cup. Hang it. Slide photos, notes, and more under the flower petals. Suction cup sticks to smooth surfaces and it's a three pack. Look at that and there is the back so let's get this sucker open and we have purple red and like a yellow these were my school colors so that's cool so i did bring a soft surface my clock and i'm going to stick one of those suckers on there and that's what it looks like i even came prepared and brought one of my cards there you go how cool is that you can stick that on your fridge the bathroom mirror uh kitchen window wherever in your car put it anywhere stick it anywhere these are so cool and these were over by the kitchen goodies like the knives and spatulas and that kind of stuff speaking of kitchen we'll go ahead and move on to this item this is a mango tool and uh easily cut and pit simple to use so this looked interesting i wonder if you can use this for another fruit but on the back it shows you how to use it so comment down below and let me know if you think you can use this for a another fruit be interesting to uh hear your guys's input so i grabbed one of those okay so about a week ago I hauled these Mountain Dew and Pepsi can caps and they only had one per pack Wow did I hit the jackpot this uh, jackpot jackpot only in Jenny's world I would come up with jackpot cop cop oh god what am I saying we'll just leave it right there but here we go we have the Mountain Dew can caps locking top cap it fits most soda cans and uh keeps uh bugs out and it comes with four what in the world is that in my hair it has four not one not two not three four four mm -hmm. and they also had it in pepsi i did bring a pop can mr pib i keep this in the house because this is what the kids drink and if you have not seen Oh, and they have it in a two pack too. Two pack. See? So, <clears throat> just in case you guys have not seen, I will demonstrate it for you. I've already used mine. So, there is the little lid. Clicks, stays closed. It is like a plastic silicone kind of feel. All you do is pop it on there and have it click. And there you go. No bees, bugs unless they're really tiny, teeny, tiny bit bugs. But you can always close the lid when you're not using it. Close it. There we go. <clears throat> See, it listens. So this is perfect for um, when you're traveling in the car or just even going down the street in the car, um, on the beach, by the pool, on the boat, whatever. It will help the spills and keep the bugs out. So, yes, I do love that. Now... The other one I picked up, which I haven't seen, but only at one of my Dollar Trees, this is the Mountain Dew Can Pump Fizz Keeper. So what I drink in a day is a six ounce cup of coffee early in the morning, shortly after I chase that with a Mountain Dew. Now I never drink my Mountain Dew right away. It takes me almost all day to multiple hours to finish my pop and I just let it sit on the counter and it gets warm and blah I don't know why I don't put it in the fridge but I just don't so this says pump to keep canned drinks from going flat flip open to pour fits most soda cans so we are going to try this out so let's open the ooh, it's got a rubber a grippy ooh. Fancy, fancy. I'm probably not going to be able to figure out how to work this. Thank God for pictures. So we, so there's the picture. So I wonder, 
I wonder, I wonder, why, 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 let's, before I open the pop can, okay, can you screw on, why don't you read it, Jenny, okay, that makes sense, snap base ring onto can, close pump cap, into base ring until it clicks twice. Press pump three to four times. Open, press on top of release tab. I can't get it on my can. Oh, wait. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. So, I don't get it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's getting hard. Oh! Beware of the pop. So there you go. I'll have to try that out. Very interesting, and I just spent, what, five minutes on that? Probably still can't figure the darn thing out. Okay, so showed you that, showed you that. And uh, they only had one of these, and it has a little mark on it, so I'm hoping I can get it off. This is the 100% cotton flower sack towels. And it has the lemon, so cute. It says one cup of water, juice of two, water, juice of two lemons, two tablespoons of sugar, five ice cubes. Why five ice cubes? Why not four? Hmm? Why not six? So yes, it has lemons all over it. Super cute. They had different ones. They had a pineapple one and a watermelon one, but that is the one I chose. Okay. This, I always buy a pinwheel, which I already did. It's out in the yard. You guys probably have seen it in my videos when I record the dogs outside. But I thought I'd go ahead and get this one, although I know for sure one big gusty wind is going to shred this thing to pieces. But I just could not pass it up because it's so cute, and it really does spin really cute. When uh, I would buy the real little ones when I was little, I would always stick them outside the car window and whoop, pop right off. See ya. Yeah, I don't know why I kept doing that because I knew the outcome, but yet I just thought it was so cool to watch it spin so fast it flung right out the window. I picked up just one of the Splash and Swim cup holder, ages three and up. I bought the unicorn. I am not going to blow this up because the monkey almost killed me. So this is super cute. My, I'm not going to use it for a drink. Number one, I don't swim. Number two, I wouldn't even be in the water with the drink floating around with my kids splashing. That's just an accident waiting to happen. But my kids like to use like little figurines in the pool and play different things. So I thought this would be cute to have in the pool floating around. Ava can put her little little pet shop in there or whatever and it can be floating around in the pool. So yeah, feel a little thin today. And I was not going to buy any more signs. I bought a few and I said, okay, that's it. But I have an idea in store for this. So that's why I bought this one. This one says, meet me by the ocean with the turtle. Now you can see, be very, very careful. So I'm trying to find a way to do it without breaking it. I'm going to try to get the turtle off of here. I should try it now. Should I try it now? Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be a bad idea. It's like, Cracking. You hear it? Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. I freed the turtle. I freed the turtle. I freed the turtle. So yes, you can take these little doober dabbers off. You can change the color up. You can decorate them. You can put them on other things. Put a magnet on the back and you can have it as a magnet. How adorable is that? So yes, I freed the turtle. Okay, one other item. I picked up the General Mills Limited Edition Lucky Charms Leprechaun Trap on back. Five to collect. Frosted Toast Oat Cereal with marshmallows. Who else out there picks out the marshmallows? Me. I love Lucky Charms. This is by far my favorite cereal. Always has, always will be. And it actually is Ruby's favorite cereal too. She won't tell anyone. So yes, I picked up that. And that is a 10.5 ounce. So it is a small box, but still for a buck. Can't beat it. So... That, my subby friends, is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local Dollar Trees. I wanted to add a little something because it's been a long time since I ever um, shown this again. 
Um, this necklace has a lot of meaning. This is a teardrop. It needs cleaned. This has some of my dad's ashes in it. For you that don't know, my dad passed away November 5th of 2014 due to, um, they believe it was his main um, aorta ruptured and my mom found him when she came home. He was slumped over his lawnmower on the driveway. So I'm not going to get into it because I'm going to start bawling and I don't want to, but I just wanted to show you guys this is a teardrop with some of my dad's ashes. You can see there's a little hole right there. That's where they put the ashes in. So I can carry my dad with me wherever I go and he's always close to my heart. <laughs> and the other item I have, um, they put ashes in this as well. This thing is heavy. It's probably about about three to four pounds, I would say. This is a bigger teardrop and it has my dad's ashes in it. I keep this um, at my bedside. And whenever I go to Florida, call me crazy, call me weird, call me a freak. I don't care, but I take this with me when I go to Florida because the last trip to Florida, that was the first time I ever went there without my dad. So he was still with me. Um, this isn't a great picture, but this is a picture of me and my dad when we did the diabetes walk. My dad was a type 1 diabetic. And right here you can see he has a prosthetic. Um, he lost his leg due to a blister on the bottom of his foot. And it got really bad. He got gangrene. And they tried about five days to try to save his leg. But he started to get septic. I think that's what it's called. And then he got pneumonia. And... Um, he was just going downhill, so they had to amputate his leg right below the knee. Uh, my dad was a very big guy. He was 6'4", probably 310 pounds. Um, after he lost his leg, went through ther um, physical therapy, he was in the hospital for 54 days. Um, he lost over 100 pounds. He got to the point where I didn't even recognize my dad anymore because he was so thin. Um, but yeah, that's how I lost my dad due to diabetes, and he had um, six bypass in 2002. Um, he had two leaky valves, which his health, they just, they couldn't go in to fix it because it was just too risky. Um, so he lived about 18 months after he lost his leg, and um, he was uh, 65, just short of his 60... <laughs> 66th birthday so it just sucks but yeah so whenever you see me wear this just know it's my dad and that is what my dad like I said it's not a very good picture um but that was uh I'm trying to think what year that was 2000 let's see he lost his leg in 2014 of May May June July so it was about a year I think it was about a year um after he lost his leg, that picture was taken at the diabetes walk. So that is my story. That gives you a little bit of input on what happened to my dad. And when you see me wear this necklace, it's my dad's ashes. And this has only appeared in one other video. Um, so a lot of you didn't know what it was. Just know it's my dad. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I thank you all for spending the time with me today. And I just hope you're able to find on what you're looking for at one of your Dollar Trees. So again, thanks for stopping by and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling. Bye.